So rather than appeal to those who appreciate the MAGA policies, but who are looking for someone more mainstream, maybe less controversial, DeSantis is trying to create distance from the right. Now, it makes little sense to me, but look, I'm a political moderate who tends to like moderates on both sides of the aisle, so maybe I just don't get it. So let's ask Adam Goodman, longtime GOP strategist who's advised a number of notable Florida Republicans over the years, including Jeb Bush and Pam Bondi. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Appreciate it. So you think this strategy actually makes some sense? Well, it's interesting that how you're framing this, that he's uh, purposely going right to get to the right of the ex-president. Let me tell you what's really bottom line here. We're into the audition for president of the United States, for Ron DeSantis, the first time he's on the presidential stage. The first thing he has to do, I believe, as a Republican, is check the boxes. Some of those boxes are what you call the MAGA boxes. Some of them are ideological, some are not. But you refer to this as kind of an extreme move to the right. I don't think a lot of Republicans see it as extreme, but conservative. Tightening the border, more parental involvement in K through 12, more tolerance in higher education, Tougher but, bills on crime. You know, I don't think yeah, this but is almost, what almost none, see. Wait, almost none of the ones you cited are the ones I mentioned. Because I hear you okay. on certain issues, right? I understand mm -hmm. that DeSantis is going to campaign on what he views as his successes in Florida, right? Mm -hmm. I get that. That's, right. what I, that's, that's what I expected. But again, now let's talk about abortion. Uh, he's going to the, to the right of Donald Trump. On guns, he's going to the right of Donald Trump. Um, I, these aren't my words. These are DeSantis's words, right? He's right, saying right. Donald Trump is too liberal. I'm, these aren't my words. I don't think ultimately, Dan, the verdict in this Republican primary is if it comes down to the former president and Ron DeSantis will come down to who is more conservative. It's going to come down to a what conservative can win and two, um, I, which is really the key to the yeah. Don Donald Trump's playbook back in 16, Dan, was taking on the system. The governor is trying to show both. And I, I tell you, the Florida story is one of the most popular stories in America. You see it by the number of people that are moving there. Uh, I'd rather be defending and uh, pushing that story than any other state in the country. You just saw the Iowa governor refer to Iowa as Florida of the North. So I think he's off to a, a good start. I think if he doesn't check these boxes, that some of which you've referred to, some of which you have not, uh, I think that that raises more questions as opposed to him getting to the real agenda, which is let's have a full and open conversation as Republicans about what it takes to lead as a conservative moving forward. And you see his agenda is very present and future oriented. That may be one of the telling differences ultimately in the primary. But so you think that, again, the kinds of subtle attacks, right? These aren't like bashing him over the head attacks, but the, mm -hmm. the, 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 the distance that he's trying to create from himself and Donald Trump Every one of those issues, he's saying he's more conservative than Donald Trump. He is. I, I understand. I hear yeah. you, and I hear what he's saying also, Dan. I think right now, you know, we're in the early part of the contest. A lot of this is going to, there's going to be a lot of banter and rhetoric going back and forth, I'm sure, between the ex-president uh, and, uh, and Ron DeSantis. But the bottom line is, can Ron DeSantis in this situation, we're talking the governor, yep. can he measure up, can he stand up well on a presidential stage? Yeah. That's what Republicans are waiting to make a judgment on. And we're seeing the first so evidence this, of that. And so, so far, I get so it. good. So this is the beginning, right? This is, the, as you put it, the introduction right. to, to DeSantis. Right. First showing the base that he's conservative, that he's with them on a variety of issues. And then from there, we can talk and figure out uh, if you're the guy. But isn't the downside to that that he could alienate more moderate voters for the general election. Dan, in, in the first 30 days as governor, uh, Ron DeSantis passed historic uh, spending for the environment, the Everglades, yeah. is record spending for education, uh, criminal justice reform. He did a lot of things in the first 30 days. I think in the totality of his record, which is what people will ultimately judge the governor and everybody else who's running on, I think he's going to look uh, very attractive right. as a potential Republican nominee. All right. Adam Goodman, thank you very much for coming on the program. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.